drink up and let's add some custom potions to Minecraft. Forging fabric courses with advanced topics such as entities, custom structures, and three armor models linked in the description below. All right, we find ourselves back in the channel once more. In this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom potions to Minecraft. In this tutorial, we're going to be adding the custom potions. And then next tutorial, we're also going to be adding the custom potion recipes. So for the time being, in our tutorial mod package, we're just going to make a new package called potion. And this is going to include a new Java class called the mod potions. And this is going to look, well, I mean, kind of like this. We're going to have a public static potion called the freeze potion, freeze underscore potion here. And of course, including the potion here by clicking Alt and Enter on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a few different things. And one of them is going to be a register potion method right here. So this is going to be the register potion method with a string name parameter. Should be fairly self-explanatory. This looks very similar to pretty much the thing that we've done last time with the actual effect here. Instead, we're using the potion right here with a new identifier tutorial mod that mod id and then the name here and then of course a new potion and this is going to be a new status effect instance of mod effects dot freeze then a duration of 200 and an amplifier of zero so this of course you know uses our mod effect that we've done in the last tutorial if you haven't seen this already you can of course check this out as well and we can then go here and register potions and there you go and this is just going to be the freeze potion equals register potion with the name freeze underscore potion. This pretty much concludes exactly what we need to do here in this case. We just need to call this right here, of course, calling it below the mod effects, right? So mod potions dot register potions. That's kind of important because the effect has to be registered before the potion is registered. And then we also need to add three more things here inside of the en underscore us json file. And that's going to be all three of the potions because when we create a new potion, all three, the normal, the splash and the lingering potion are all registered automatically. Those are then the actual translations that we need. And you can see they're actually all in the Minecraft namespace. I, I'm not 100% sure this happens because when you create a new potion, it just gets added to the Minecraft namespace uh, by default, basically. So just keep that in mind as well. But that is literally all that we need to do. I, it's very straightforward, but that is pretty much it. So for completion's sake, let's see if it works. All right, France is back in Minecraft. So let's just search for freeze. And there it is, the freeze potion, a splash potion, and the lingering potion as well. Let's just get maybe some sheep or something like that to you know just place them down here and then let's just freeze them for a little bit and you can see even if i hit them they're actually frozen and that they won't even drop here you can see there you go so they don't even drop it's very strange it's very interesting so let's just there you go so all frozen right there so that's very cool and of course i can also drink it myself and then now i'm frozen as well and i can you know i try you know sometimes you can move a little bit i think that if you're flying already then i believe you, that you have a little bit of momentum left but you can see it's still very very slow so there you go so that still works you know let's add some zombies right here switch to survival mode and then you know they're gonna try and follow me and then bam there you go now you're frozen so that works really nicely so as you can see all of the different potions here added successfully and then like i said in the next tutorial we're gonna then see how you can also add some custom brewing recipes so that we can brew our custom potions but that concludes this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new if you did i would very much appreciate a like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one i also want to thank all of my lovely patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel it is very much appreciated and i'll see you in the next tutorial so yeah <laughs>